Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on uploading your very first avatar to VRChat. And this will be using the 2022 uh, SDK for uh, VRChat. And this is basically a brand new update that they have just recently released in, as of December 2023. So to get started, I'm going to head over and hit download the creator companion. You can alternatively also use this link that I'll have provided in the description to do so. And otherwise, uh, just download it from the link provided. Now, next, head over to unity.com slash download, and we're going to hit download for Windows. So now that this is done, and we have both of our things here, I'm going to start by opening up unityhubsetup.exe, and I'm going to run this application and let it install. So I'm going to select where I install this. You can choose a custom location. I will not, however. And after this is done, uh, we basically go through the entire installation process for this. And then I'm going to hit finish. And now after a few seconds, it should load up and I'll bring this over here. So now what you'll have to do if for the first time set up is you'll need to make a unity account and then you'll need to sign up for the free license or the personal license. And you can actually just do that by clicking add and then picking personal, or you can go through the website. Either way, make a Unity account, get the free license. It's all completely free, and it's a very short process to do. I just won't show it here because it has a lot of personal details. Now, after you've done this, you'll notice that you have no Unity editors installed. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to head over to this download archive. I will leave this linked in the description, and we're going to make sure we select 2022.x. So we're just going to click that one up there, scroll through until you get down here to 3.6. This is the version we want. And we're going to hit this big blue Unity Hub button. Now you have this little pop up, hit open in Unity Hub. And now that it springs this open, you'll see that we can now install it. Now, a very important thing, make sure you have the Android build support turned on. You will need this if you want to upload a Quest avatar. So make sure that this is installed. Anything else here does not matter. If you choose to have different languages and whatnot, that's down here. There's some documentation, but this is the by far most important part. And now, as you can see, it's going to be a pretty big install. So I'll most likely speed this up, but I will agree to conditions and I will install it. And as you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I will just speed up the footage here. Now, after our install is completely done, to double check, head over to installs and make sure that you have it right here. Now, this is the 2022 3.6 F1 version. This is the exact one. And then make sure that it says Android and Windows. This will be for the Quest and this will be for the PC users. Now, after this is done, we're gonna head over back to our downloads. We're gonna grab Creator Companion and we're gonna go ahead and install this for the first time. Accept the agreement. We're going to select where we install this, hit next, next, and it will go through the process of downloading. This one is going to be much quicker, so it'll only be a few seconds. And after this is done, it will pop up right here. There we go. Now, it's going to say that the path to the Unity editor is not set. We'll need to be able to do this, so we're going to head over to fix now. It should automatically detect it if we've already installed it, and it looks like it has found it automatically. And so it says everything is ready to go, which is a good sign. Now, just to double check, go over to settings right here, Unity editors, and we're going to make sure we're on 2022 and that it is 3.6 F1, which everything looks correct here. Now, next step is we're going to go to projects and we're going to create our first project. So I'm going to select our Unity version. So we're using 2022. So make sure you select that one right there. And then I'm going to name my project. So I'm just going to call mine Runa here. And then we're going to select where we want to save this to. Right now, I'm saving it to my VRChat projects folder. But if you want to select the custom folder, you can do so by clicking here. Otherwise, I'm just going to use this as my default location. So I'm going to hit click and create project. And I'm going to wait for it to go through. Now, we're going to make sure that everything we use is up to date. So I'm going to grab our avatar 3.5 manager. And hopefully no conflicts. And then I'm also going to grab gesture manager here and no conflicts either. So as an example, 
if you get AV3 emulator, and this one isn't currently updated, it will warn you that it will downgrade some of your versions. Just ignore that, don't download it, and just wait for an update to come out. But these are the kind of three that I would personally recommend, is the AV3 emulator, Avatar 3.0 manager, and gesture manager. Those three are the best ones to download for a beginner. Um, but yeah, this one isn't updated yet, so I'll be skipping this today. So we're going to hit over here, hit open project, and this will open up our Unity for the first time. You may get a little icon down here that is a firewall icon. You just have to hit continue on that, basically accept the terms that it has, and it should still work. But I will basically let this open up for the first time. It can take a little bit of time, so I will speed up the footage. Awesome, and now our VR check will be open for the first time. So we have a error in the console right now that seems to be with the Avatar 3.0 manager. So again, if you have any issues or errors like this, give it a few seconds to kind of update and then it will go away. Now, if there's still any here, make sure you note down the name of it and then just head over to VCC and just uninstall it and reopen the project. Otherwise, if there's no errors here, it should be completely ready to go. So, to get started, we're going to head over and we're going to grab the Poyomi shader. I'll leave a link to this in the description, but make sure you click Poyomi Tune Shader. Head over to Releases in this corner, and then grab the one with .unity package. You just click that and it should start downloading. The next step will be our avatar we want to actually upload today. So, in this case, I'll be using the Runa. And so I will download this Unity package. I'm going to specifically grab the face track one, but grab the one that corresponds to what you want to use and make sure this is also a .unity package. So I'm going to hit download and then this one will be a bit longer to download. But now that we are here, I'm going to grab our Poyomi .unity package and I'm going to drag it in and it should take a few seconds to kind of import over. And now we'll have this window here as our selection and I'm just going to hit import. Awesome. Now that that is done, I'm going to head back here. Now, this is a zip file. You may have a Unity file downloaded, but mine is a zip. So I'm going to use 7-zip and extract this. I believe Windows has an extract all option as well and you just hit next, it will extract it. And then right here, we have the .unity package. And so I'll grab this, drag it in like we did with Poyomi, and it will do the same kind of process. Uh, this one's a little bit laggier since it is a bigger project overall. As you can see from the size down here, it's quite a large project. So it will cause Unity to lag a little bit, but when you're down into this page, you look good to go. Now, one thing before hitting import, I would recommend minimize these and check. So, as you can see, we have Poyomi shaders packed with this. So, we already have Poyomi installed here, and if we reinstall it, it's going to cause it to break. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the check mark here to basically say we don't want to import this. As you can see, it has a warning sign and a reimport. So, we're just going to skip that and we're going to leave the rest and hit import. And we're going to wait for this to import as well. Okay, and now that it's done, we should have a folder, and this folder will correspond to the name of your avatar. Sometimes it may be named differently, but just double check um, But I will open this up. And so we will have an icon that looks like this. This is a scene, and this is basically what we import to see our avatar. So you can either drag this to the side here or double click it. I'm personally going to drag mine to the side, and then I'm going to quickly remove the other scene. And now, as you can see, we have our avatar right here. So to get this uploaded, we're going to click the avatar. We're going to open up the VRChat SDK and do the show control panel. And then we're going to log into our account. So I'm going to quickly just skip this part. Okay, awesome. Now that I'm logged in, if I head over to the builder section, 
you can now see that our avatar should be automatically detected up here. If you have multiple avatars in the scene, you can click this drop down and select it, but it should basically always default to the one you have selected here. So we're going to give our avatar a name. So in this case, I'm going to do Runa, and then in brackets, I'm going to do FT for face tracking. Now I'm going to put in the description, uploaded by PX Inky. You can make this whatever you want. And then in the case that your avatar has any of these, I would uh, suggest checking them off. But thankfully, this avatar does not have any of these. And then for visibility, I'm going to set mine to private because this will be my own private avatar. Now, you can choose to pick a thumbnail. And when you click this, you basically select an image uh, or a PNG of the size of 12 by uh, 9. And you put that in there and you can select that as the image. You can also capture it from the scene. And this is based on your current camera right here. And so what I can do is I can kind of zoom up on the face of the avatar. I can create maybe a cube object in the background here. And then I want to put it to the position of 0, 0, 0. Put it in the back. Use R to change it to this sizing tool. Press W to change it to this moving tool. And then I can kind of just move this behind the avatar here. Do something kind of like this. And then use this for the image, as you can see, as our upload image. I will personally actually go a little bit closer like that. And now there's also some other options if you want to do custom lighting or whatnot. But I'm just going to use this as that. So now that that has been done, I'm going to hit capture. It's going to take a screenshot. And now this is the thumbnail for our avatar. So next we're going to select our build platform. For this video, we're going to use Windows. I'll explain how to do Android later. So select Windows, and then this is basically the information on your avatar. This will go about how optimized your avatar is, any things you could fix on it. Like right here, it tells me too many Fizzbone components. That's something I could fix, but for this example, I will not be touching anything here. As long as it's not a exclamation mark with a red triangle, you can still upload your avatar. So for this part, I'm just going to skip that. And now that this is fully done, if we open up build here, we can hit build and test, and this will basically publish our VRChat avatar uh, for local testing. This is not what we're going to use. We're going to make sure we do online publishing here. So make sure that the information provided is accurate and that you have the rights to upload this content. Make sure you read the terms of service of your avatar creator. I already did, so I know everything I'm doing here is perfectly fine. And so I will head over, hit build and publish, and this will make the process of compiling the avatar down and then uploading it to VRChat so you can use it. So I will skip past this. This will take a little bit of time to do, of course, because it is a long process. So I will leave this in the background and just speed up the footage. And you'll know it's done by having this uploaded succeeded here. And it says your uh, avatar was uploaded to VRChat. And you can see so through the website. You can also go to your content manager and search the name here. So for that, I go Runa. And as you can see, it is the first result here. It is a private release and it's a brand new avatar. And so I will quickly switch over to VRChat and show you what it looks like. Okay, and now that we are inside of VRChat, I will simply open up our menu by hitting Escape. Go to Avatars. Go to Uploaded. And as you can see, we have our newest uploaded avatar here, and I will quickly enable the mirror. And as you can see, it is a fully working version of the avatar that we just uploaded earlier. And as you can see, I have all the settings. But this has been a short tutorial on how to upload your very first avatar to VRChat. I hope this has helped you. Uh, best of luck with your VRChat endeavor endeavors. And if you need help or anything, links to my Discord is in the description, or you can just do discord.gg slash pxinky. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is a quick little bit of button to say thank you to my Patreons and YouTube members. Um, those being Takemi, Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino, Emerald Null, Suzuki, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and The Maple Proto, as well as my YouTube members being Blue Nino 1 and Hydro 19. Thank you very much for your guys' support. What you guys do helps me create videos like this. 
and I would just like to give a big thank you. I really appreciate the extra um, little bit of donations you put towards my content. Anyways, if you are interested in becoming a membership, links to that in the description. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. This has been Pinky, and I am signing out.